Can you tell Bronco Nation had some fun last night? You know, over the last two seasons, Boise State senior guard Marcus Shaver Jr. has made a habit of hitting clutch shots. For the fifth time in a 46-game span, last night, big-time bucket shave added to his legend with yet another late-game winner. The night didn't necessarily start well for Shave. He only made three out of his first 11 shots, and with about five minutes to go, there was some concern if Shave could even finish the game due to an injury. Sensing the moment, though, and the magnitude of this contest, Contest, Shave found a way back onto the floor. Um, yeah, I went to the locker room. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna go to the training room after this, see what's going on. Guy didn't know where he was, what happened. We needed to slow things down. We were leaking oil. The only doubt was his ankle. And so I asked him in the huddle, do you want the last shot? You gonna make it? He's like, I want it. And once he said that, I'm like, all right. Yeah, I'm, I'm a competitor, and so are all my teammates, and um, that's what we did tonight, compete. Is there any way you were giving that up? Uh, nah, no chance. <laughs> you know, I got a lot of clutch guys, but he takes it to another level. He's maybe one of the most clutch players I've ever coached. Shaver, step back three, he got it! Marcus Shaver Jr. with 2.3 seconds left. Who else would take the last second shot but Marcus Shaver Jr. When he snapped that off the way he did, man, I knew it was good. Crazy, you know, you could just see it in his eyes. Something locks in during the game. And you could tell, like, he just wants it more than the other guys. I'm really calm. I've uh, been in that situation a lot. It's just like I'm at the park, just getting up shots, like three, two, one, Kobe, that, you know that? So that's what I do. It was the perfect storm. I was looking at all the conditions. We had the ball with 20 seconds. We got Shaver in the game, and we got a tie ball game where he could just be free and kind of hoop. And that's the best and most fun time to play with. You know, like, if you miss, you're going overtime. But if you make it, you're the hero. And we know who the hero of this story is. He's Marcus Shaver. Coming up tonight on the News at 10, we're going to have more on last night's game, including a couple of late impactful plays by Chibuzo Abo. Plus, another Boise State football player gets a postseason all-star game invite and a former BSU grade is moving to the SEC to call plays. Again, that is coming up tonight on the News at 10. Big time win la last night, though, Doug. And, yeah. and I've been covering this Boise State basketball team for a while. For me, late game situations, Derek Marks is my guy. Yeah. But uh, Marcus Shaver Jr. has officially entered the chat. I, I don't know if there is a guy uh, in my time at Boise State that, that has actually been more clutch than him late in games. He's been phenomenal. Hey, he's just doing 3 2 1 Kobe I, right? at the park. It, the, right? the kid, right? Like 3 2 1. <laughs> that's, that's what I do. Just surrounded by 8,000 people, I guess. <laughs> we'll be right back.